So the second part of our session is we're going to try and paint uh, trees. As I said, when I first started painting again about 20 years ago, I couldn't paint trees. I used to watch all the, the Frank Clark videos, but I just couldn't paint trees. And uh, I remember having to go to the library and got a book out. And I spent the whole afternoon just painting three upon three upon three. It's the only way you got to practice. Do them 20 times. And I guarantee you then when you have to, you know, when you've got to sit down and actually paint a tree, it's going to work for you. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit more water on this because the last thing you need is to be sort of jerking and dragging a dry brush. So I'm going to press in your brush right to the base as wide as you can get it, depending on the tree, of course. Now as I head up, I'm starting to twist the brush a little bit. Uh, twist it, get a little bit of character. It nearly paints itself uh, to some extent, but as I'm going up, because trees get narrower as they go up, I'm actually just ensuring that I uh, ease the brush away as I'm going up. So it's up there, twist that brush. Yeah, it's lovely. Cool. I think we might make the base of that tree just a little bit wider. So we'll just come in here. And off we go. Twist your brush. Just twirl between your fingers there. And then as you come out, just take your hand away. And uh, I think I mentioned the other day, when you're painting trees, do not, trees don't, branches don't grow out like that. They go up and out, up and out. So I think it would be time to maybe use a slightly smaller brush. Getting a little bit sort of hectic with this one. There you go. Okay, so we're going to use a slightly smaller brush now for those medium size uh, branches. Maybe up here. It cuts across there. We'll just straighten out the end there just because it's grown now. You don't want to have it look like it's a, it's a pole. So there's a tree. So I'm going to use a rigger brush. And the rigger brush we spoke about yesterday is uh, used to for painting the rigging on ships. But they are just amazing for branches. And at this stage, I'm not even going to press the brush in. I'm just going to use the weight of the brush itself. Off we go. And each one of those is going to be another few leaves off that one. A few small little branches. And off there because when, well, when you look at it when you look at the trees heading off and go go either side so we've got one coming up there we've got one going out there maybe just off the base there's a I don't know what that's called I'm sure a gardener should know what that's called there so that's my tree there and we might sort of look at how would we set that into a scene okay so maybe we have a uh, here we go now. Little bits of air fence posts. And we might just go a little bit lighter on that then. We go a little bit lighter. Yeah, and we've got and the rigor brush, you know, for where it's brilliant for uh, branches and that it's not so good try and get a straight line because it's so loose and so soft you just lose control of it so I'm just going to bring this down here just on a slightly different brush there I'd use the regular brush again now actually just to join them together because uh, it'll give me a very very thin line so let's see how we get on How's that? And we might actually have, uh, maybe over here we have. See, can we get some greens in here maybe? Or some bushes happening over in the far side there. Ah, that's cool. Now to make a big, bit more sense if I had actually done that greenery before I started painting paint trees, but I suppose really what we're here to do is paint how to paint trees and how to just get that little bit of thing to go up there. Maybe we've got some. Yep. 
yep that's it oh, we might get some you ever see when you're trying to uh, put the grass in and around your post even in your own garden there always seems to be that little bit of extra grass coming up just as as it hits the uh, fence post so there we go so hopefully uh, that makes a little bit of sense and uh, practice 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 and again thanks very very much indeed i'll talk to you soon bye